Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so today I am exploring the aircraft carrier and I'm doing it well. I'm in my CEO office and it's crazy, but we'll get into that later. Now, basically I've got the aircraft carrier at the moment in free mode. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on how, um, but there is a couple of ways you can explore. If you can start up the power play with say one friend, um, someone that's not gonna kill you, just so you can have a mess around, let you explore, set the maximum time and stuff you can have a decent look around. Now, I don't think there's gonna be any major Easter eggs here. Um, chances are, if there is, it's just gonna be something small, but we're gonna have a look and see what we can find. Now, at the minute, what's down there? Right, there's like a little box thing. I'm not too sure what that is. It might be something to send a signal out or something. I'm not sure, but we'll go down this ladder or fall off and have a look, see what it is. At the moment, I can't really tell. What is it? Oh, it looks like um, like an anti-aircraft gun thing, but the textures aren't too good on it. Um, what are these little barrels around? There's nothing else on this bottom bit. All right, so we'll go back up here. Let me just turn my CEO off so I can put it on passive mode, just in case anyone comes to try and kill me. Don't want to be getting trolled while I'm trying to make a video. Right, what are these boxes? No narcotics. Okay, so, right, so it's got the survival thing on, similar to what you find in the military base. And um, nothing else around it. There's these missiles on the ground that's pretty cool. I think it'd be awesome if you could kind of blow them up and it just went boom. But it doesn't look like you can. What's this? There's a little sign on that box. I don't know if that means anything. Um, or on these crates. Some more missiles and stuff. Right, so there's nothing Easter egg wise there. Where else shall we have a look at? Right, so there's a load more stuff over there. What's down here? here. Right, so it looks like that's the entrance so you can get on from like a dinghy or a boat or something. Looks pretty cool. We'll definitely explore down there as well. It is all open. You can go upstairs in the rooms where all the computers are. You can go downstairs to all, where all the planes and stuff are. So hopefully we'll find something. CFU, don't think that stands for anything. I know there was a Fallout one on like set of crates in the military base. I thought we might have found something similar. There was a survival thing on the first lot of crates, but that's about it. Doesn't look like there's anything on the outside. As you can see, there's loads of people in the lobby. Uh, can't really make out what that little sticker said. But I'm presuming it's just going to be copied and pasted on everything. We've got more missiles and stuff. It's definitely weird exploring it when it's got nobody else on it. Every time I've been on it, I've been getting harassed and shot either in missions or um, adversary modes. So it is pretty cool that you can get it on, in, on your own just to sort of have a look around. If you do want to find out how, I did do a video a few days ago, if you can find it. Otherwise, just check it out on YouTube, get it in free mode. It is pretty easy to do. Again, load more missiles. What's down here? So on the outside, it looks like all the boxes and stuff might just be sort of copy and paste style. Because I'm thinking Rockstar wasn't expecting people to go Easter egg hunting on it. But usually, to be fair, they're the places where they do. I know there was another Fallout Easter egg found inside one of the mod shops, which obviously they weren't expecting people to find a way to get in, but people have. They've had a look around and found it, and that one's pretty cool. I'll be doing a video on that at some point. What's that say? Plastic explosives, I think. Nope. Again, nothing there. We've got another one of these, what I think are anti-aircraft sort of guns on the side. Um, I am just guessing. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get some comments with people telling me.
No, nothing there either. What's down there? Doesn't look like anything. Right, so we go back up here now and have a look around. We can have a look over the other side and at the bottom and see if there's anything there. To be honest, I think Easter egg wise, we're more likely to find something when we get higher up. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if we can get in there though. You can see all the computers and stuff. Looks a bit crazy. And again, the boxes, the, uh, yeah, the boxes, they are just kind of copied and pasted. They have all got the same words on the same numbers. Same with the missiles. Like weapons, crates and stuff. So we're nearly finished on the outside. Um, I was hoping it wouldn't take too long. It's the inside bit that I really want to explore. I'm sure there's going to be some pretty cool stuff in there. I've seen some screenshots where they've got all like um, the radars and all that sort of stuff. Can't wait to see if there's anything sort of hidden on the screens. That'd be pretty crazy. Again, more bombs, missiles and stuff. Um, doesn't look right. We'll have a quick look over here. There's some more boxes. You never know, there might be something on one. No. Same with these little crates, nothing there. So let's get over here. Hope we don't, hopefully we don't fall on our face. All right. I think we're going to go inside, um, upstairs or downstairs first. Hmm. Beware jet blasts. Oh, roller blades. These little signs. See, I know there was a Star Trek one. Um, one of them stickers found in Lester's house. That was pretty cool. So I can imagine something like that. Uh, what about in here? So we've got the flag, these numbered doors. Right, so there's nothing there. Ooh, spooky. Upstairs, downstairs, we'll go upstairs first. Right, let's have a look on these doors. Make sure we don't miss anything. So playing the actual um, adversary mode, I didn't notice anything specific, but to be fair, I was too busy running around um, with a bug on my head. As probably most of you guys would have been. Right, so dead end over there. Anything or nothing. Again, pretty much nothing. It is pretty much guaranteed that there will at least be one Easter egg on this battleship, and I'm hopefully going to find something. Right, so nothing there. But to be fair, even if we don't find an Easter egg, it's still a pretty cool place to explore and just see what there is. So we're upstairs, right, so there's a door we can go in over here, but we'll leave that a second. We can go up another level, and I keep getting money, why do I keep getting money? I haven't actually done anything. So there's computers and stuff in there. Um, I think as well you can actually use the computers, because we're not on a mission, it's not just a texture. As far as I'm aware, you can actually use them, which would be pretty cool for some like snapmatics and stuff, getting all your friends on the battleship, well, the aircraft carrier, all around the computers and like the radar and stuff. So is this just around the same bit? Yeah, some more boxes, but again, there's nothing really on it. 
Right, so we've got two doors that we can go in. We'll check out this one first. A little danger sign, that's about it. Dead end. I'm surprised with the stickers and stuff that are around, they haven't sort of copied and pasted the Back to the Future Easter egg. What's on these books? A little sticky note there. Oh, it's just a to pick up to do list. So yeah, the computer you can actually use, that's pretty cool. Um, all the secret files. It's a shame there's none of them open where you can actually read what it says. The writing is blurry on everything. There's nothing that we can turn on or activate either. Right, so let's go back and have a look in this other room. Let's see if there's anything there. So again, we've got the same kind of stickers, danger and stuff. Now this room looks really cool. Same kind of signs again. I think yet yeah, another to-do list. That bit's copied and pasted. The maps don't move, so it is just a, sort of a still image. Use the computer again. Wow, that's crazy. We've got the whole US map there, but nothing sort of moves on it or anything. And then more maps, and then we've got like the radars and stuff. Pretty cool. It's a shame none of them work. I think it'd be great if the, the monitors actually moved and had stuff sort of going around on them. What don't, that's a bit of a shame. They could have took advantage of that. That would have made it really cool. Especially for if you were making like in-game movies using the Rockstar editor. I like the sonar sound as well. Where else is it that we can take a look at? I know we need to go downstairs. Oh, what's in there? This moves. The door moves. Maybe there's something inside. How do I get it open? Open the door. Go into the first person. If we can't open it, maybe we can have a peek inside. No, everything's pretty blurry. You can't see anything that's in there written on anything. Just same sort of signs and stuff as well. So if we take a look upstairs, I'm not sure if there's any other bits that we can go inside. Right, so no, this bit's got nothing on it. There's no ladders or anything. What's that one over there? Just double check, make sure I'm not missing anything with it being a little bit dark. Nope. Right, over to this one. Right, well, we've got a ladder. Let's go up here. It sounds like there's a sort of Morse code thing. I know that's been in a few points of the game, Morse code. Um, as far as I know, no one sort of worked out what it says yet. But I don't want to waste too much time listening to it. I might do another video just to put the full Morse code thing on, if it is Morse code, see if anyone, any of you guys can work out what it says. I'm not good with that sort of thing, but I'm sure some of you clever clogs out there can figure it out. Right, let's go back downstairs. Alright, so we're at the red flashing lights again, which makes it look a little bit creepy. Um, and now we need to go downstairs and take a look down here.
with it being a bit dark as well, there might be something that I don't spot. Any of you guys, if you see anything that I haven't pointed out in the video that you think is related to anything, make sure you leave a comment and let us know and I'll go back and check it out. But so far at the minute, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Right, so let's go through here. Um, I didn't explore it to be fair in the actual game mode, the adversary mode um, But everyone says there's loads of jets and stuff down here Not found any yet, but hopefully we should do... Oh, there we go, speak of the devil Pretty cool actually, the amount of planes and stuff um, I'm not sure if we can fly them, it'd be pretty cool if we can um, I might check that out in a minute, just to see if we can actually get in them or whether it's just sort of an object that's placed there because it is a bit of a pain when you haven't when you don't own the jet and you have to go to the military base so maybe once you're on here you might be able to get one for free yay but we shall see definitely pretty cool what's the way this bit looks a little bit dodgy anything or nothing Nope, just sort of some trailers. No. Let's take a look. Right, we've got some bombs and stuff. Let's press triangle. That'll bash that triangle. No. Let's do this bit. I like the lighting down here. I know it's a little bit creepy with it flashing red all the time, but it does look pretty cool. And that's the open bit, that looks pretty good as well. Anything on these boxes, or are they all the same? No. At least it's coming a little bit lighter now. What's that? So we've not that much left to explore now. Um, we've done all the upstairs, all the outside quite a bit of the downstairs. I know there's loads and loads of little rooms coming off. I'm going to have a look in a few of them, but as far as I know, they just sort of lead to the next half of the ship. Rather than actually being rooms themselves. It's just like a little corridor that goes around the wall. Yeah, so it's just like... Um, it cuts off the wall, that's about it. I think they're all the same. You are not able to take part in the event because you're in passive mode. I didn't want to take part anyway. That's why I'm in passive mode. My phone keeps beeping. Go away. Leave me alone. Anything through here? No. The drive-by challenge. But I can't take part. I don't want to take part. Emergency exit. Ooh, what's down here? This is a new bit. I didn't see this bit. Didn't know about this part either. Kind of looks like the part, well, they're probably all the same with it being um, an aircraft carrier, but it reminds me of um, when I played Battlefield. And you start off in one of the little boats in here. Are my feet gonna get wet? What's that? Nothing. But it's kind of weird how the waves sort of pop up and down when you're down there. But no, we're back up again. So that is pretty much it, we've explored all the outside, all the downstairs, all the upstairs. The only thing that we found so far, um, well I think that it was Morse code, I'm going to check it out a little bit more just to see, I'm not sure if it is, I'll go back, I'll have a proper listen to it and find out. Well, yep, yeah, that's the battleship, aircraft carrier, we've explored it, it's pretty cool, it's definitely a place to check out if you like um, exploring new places anyway. It's something new, I haven't seen it properly before, 
so I'll definitely check it out yourselves if you can. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.